Hello and good day to you. This is day 5 of the tip of the day series with Archicad. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a door like this one or a window on a cutting wall. So you can see that we have this door here. We have this one here on the ground floor as well. So when I open the ground floor plan, you also see that it's correctly represented. A lot of people have problems with this and I have seen people going with solutions where they just create a door somewhere there and then a wall rather and then they open a door. Let's not dive and dwell on the wrong way to do it. So what you need to do is make sure you're on the 3D window. This does not work if you're on plan. It could work on sections and elevation but essentially make sure you are seeing the cutting wall upright. Then click on the cutting wall, select it, and then click on this edit button right here. It might float somewhere else on your screen, but you should definitely see it. If you are working with more than one screen at once, you might also want to check your primary screen, in case Akikad is on the primary screen, because in my experience, this will revert to the position where it should be on the primary screen. For those of us that would work with multiple screens from time to time, I hope you can relate. So when you click on this, you could choose to hide the rest of the environment or you could choose to let them show. So say I wanted another door here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this unit, all right? And then I'm going to change this from built-in CW panel to CW door. And CW in this scenario means cutting wall. Once I double click on it, I have a door right here. Extra tip. This door opens from here, you can see the knob positioned here. If you wanted it to be the other way around, you are going to click on this, open the settings and then don't change the direction, no. Change the opening type to the side hung mirror. And if you want a different kind of opening, such as a teal stone or a mirror, feel free to experiment and play with the different settings and you should enjoy. That said, now we have something like this. I'm not going to save this in this project, I just wanted to show you how it's done. If you want to learn one or two other things, you could put that in the comments and if you want to join a community of Akikad enthusiasts who have access to knowledge like this from time to time, the link to the community is in the description of this video. I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's zone. Bye for now.